Hello, my name is Dr. Elizabeth Easterling and I'm one of the doctors here at Creative Healing. Today, we're gonna to talk about stress. Now, stress is actually normal. A lot of people think that we have to create lives where, which are completely stress-free and where there's no stress at all. Well, that's unrealistic and impossible. Now, it's important to understand that there are three types of stress. There is physical stress, which is things like trauma and injury. There's also chemical stress, which is things like too much sugar or junk food or prescription medications or recreational drugs. Then there's mental and emotional stress. And that's really what we think of when we think of stress. Things like deadlines or fear or poor relationships. Those are all part of mental stressors. Now, if we have a healthy nervous system, our bodies will be able to handle the stress normally and it doesn't affect us that much. But if the stress is too severe or too prolonged, then our bodies may not be able to adapt to the stress and that's when we run into trouble. It can start affecting the immune system in the end and that's when we can start experiencing symptoms of stress or what we call dis-ease or disease of the body. Now, what do we do about stress? One of the most important ways of relieving stress is exercise. In fact, studies have shown that exercise is actually more beneficial than taking antidepressants in order to treat depression. Exercise can include anything that we enjoy doing, such as a walk in the park, going to the gym, playing a game of racquetball, or going for a walk with your dog. Those are all excellent stress relievers. Yoga and meditation are some other ways that are really beneficial to help relieve stress. Even taking some time, whether it's two or five minutes, to sit quietly in a place where there's not too much busyness going on and breathing deeply will actually help the body counteract stress. Studies have shown that when we spend quality time with another person, it actually influences our immune system in a positive way. Laughter is another very, very healthy way to help boost our immune system responses. Other really important things to manage stress would include things like time management, planning out your day, saying no, setting boundaries, asking for help are other really important ways to help our bodies in stressful situations. If we have a healthy nervous system, our bodies will be able to adapt and respond normally to these stresses and it doesn't necessarily affect us physically or affect our immune system. But if the stressors are too severe or too prolonged, our bodies will not be able to adapt to stresses and that's where we run into trouble and start experiencing symptoms or what we call dis-ease or disease of the body. And lastly, getting your spine checked on a regular basis by your chiropractor will help to keep the stress and tension away from your body. 